Huh? What's up? What's wrong? What are you doing? What's happening? What's happening? I'm getting attacked, guys. I'm getting attacked. <laughs> Metrocon. Hello, all wonderful people, or welcome back, or welcome, or all that beginning intro jazz. Um, I am recording this before my next convention. This is another convention vlog. Don't know if any of you are sick of these. I don't feel like that's the case because I'm getting some of you tell me that you appreciate the videos. Um, I am recording this, uh, I guess, technically, I mean, okay, so technically, I didn't record my outro for my last con, which was Fan Expo Boston, as I'm recording this part, so I will have to stop being lazy and go do that. I say lazy, but technically, I just had a lot going on recently, like, a lot of cons I've been going to, and, like, things like that, so I just kind of haven't had time, but I should do that. Um, I gotta, like, recollect how I felt about that, but regardless... At this point, you would have seen that vlog already, because that would have been before this. But, um, so this one is, uh, we're going to MetroCon. It is one of my regular cons. It's one of my favorite cons. I love this show very much. And as I'm talking, I realize I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> it's pretty early right now, and I'm, I don't know, I guess maybe I'm not fully woken up, if you can't tell by the weird straggly hair I got going on. MetroCon. One of my favorite shows in Tampa Bay, Florida. It's uh, like an hour and a half for me. It's the first show I've ever done when I started doing conventions. I stumbled into it and it went well and I continue doing this. This year will be my fifth year doing conventions and doing um, art in Artist Alley. But this will be my first MetroCon full time. Because last year I did quit my job before MetroCon, but I didn't really... I can't really say I was full time yet. I mean, I guess I was, but this is the first time where it's been a it's been a year since I've been doing this full time. And returning to Metro is like an anniversary for me, and it means a lot to me. And I can't wait to go back and see everyone. I feel bad because a couple of my friends didn't get in this time. They did change the the application process with the whole jurying thing, and I think there was a couple of hiccups with all that. Um, but. I mean, I guess they got it figured out, but some of my friends didn't make it in. I'll be going with my friend who uh, will be staying with my other friends who live in Tampa. So I don't really have a hotel cost. So I do have a lot to do for this show. Like I said, it's an anniversary show for me, five years, and I can't wait to go back. I have a lot of things I want to make, a lot of like little things. I do have something that I'm excited to show. I already have it done, so I can show it to you uh, um, because it was June recently because we're just... Metrocon's in July, so June was Kaijun, so like Kaiju in June, so Kaijun. So I made this Roger crossover sticker. So if you know Kaiju number eight, you know this character. And I love this sticker. I, I love it, I absolutely love it. So I'm excited to, to like debut that, and I'm gonna try to have another Roger sticker for the show. But then I also got some keychains made. Uh, it's a first time for me. I was a little scared about it. Still a little nervous about it, but I got all my Rogers done as keychains. Well, except for this one, because I just finished this one, so this one doesn't count. But I have um, keychains for them. But I did get them sent to my friend's house, because I was worried they weren't going to arrive on time. And they're showing up today, which today is Monday. So I'm not going to have it here. I'm going to have it at my friend's house in Tampa. So I got to wait until we go over there and see them, which is sad, but it's fine. It's whatever. Same thing happened with my printed canvases. I got a bunch sent over there. Cause whatever, but um, yeah. So I have a lot to do, some paintings to finish. I will show you all those um, when they're done. I will show you some process too. I'm gonna try not to show too much process because then I realize these vlogs get really long and sometimes it's like repetitive process. Like why do you need to see me cut the stickers with the Cricut all the time? I mean, really? But we're gonna go do that. Um, it's a lot to do, so sit back, um, enjoy. And I hope you learned something, I guess. I'll try to add some little tidbits of information that I feel like I've learned, especially with this being an anniversary show and I'm returning to this con for a for fifth year. Um, yeah, so here we go. Thank you. 
All right, it's the next morning. I still got more stuff to do. I showed you some paintings. I'm still finishing on my uh, Mahito from Jujutsu Kaisen, which I didn't get the point on. That's, that's one of the warrants I was working on. I also have a Toji I'm in the middle of, but I don't, um, I don't, I'll show it to you in a minute. I gotta get up and get it. But I have another idea for another painting and it's Tuesday and I leave on Thursday for the con. So it's probably not a good idea that I start a new one, but I know me and I'm gonna end up doing it anyway and stay up late. So I was you know, looking at reference images and stuff like that today. And yeah, I got really excited for it. And then I think I got, I got an idea for another one. So it'll be two, but who knows if I'll actually do two. I'll probably just do one. But yeah, so there's a lot more to go. But before I uh, cut away, I have to express something that happened today. I'm a little annoyed. Uh, how do I say it? I don't love spoilers. It is not something I'm excited about. I don't like when people say it to me, but um, it's been happening a lot and I wanna give fair warning to everyone. Please do not come to me at my booth and give me spoilers for something if I said I did not see it yet. Or please do not send it to me on my Instagram. I don't know why, but today someone felt the need to send me a meme from, uh, I guess a Demon Slayer meme, but didn't ask if I am caught up yet or anything. And me and my husband haven't seen season four yet. And this guy kind of ruined the ending of season four for me, or at least one important part that happened. And I'm a little frustrated. I don't understand why people keep doing this to me. It, if they think it's funny, I don't appreciate it. I know it's not life altering or life changing, but it's like, I want to enjoy it as I see it. And unfortunately my husband and I don't have the same schedule and we watch Demon Slayer together. So I had to wait. Also considering I have conventions after conventions after conventions to do, I cannot watch everything immediately. And especially when the episode only came out like two days ago. So um, yeah, I really appreciate if people didn't do that. It's starting to weigh on my nerves a little bit. So please stop. I'm asking, please stop. So this is the Toji painting I'm talking about. I still have to finish it. I'm not fully done. I still haven't done like the highlights in his eyes and the highlights on his pectorals and all that. You know, all you um, Toji fans who are, I feel like are gonna lust over this. But yeah, so I still gotta finish that. And then I still have my mahito, I'm not done yet. See, as you can tell, I didn't finish inking in certain spots. It's day of setup and it is early in the morning. I have a lot to do. I am exhausted. I think I look exhausted. I apologize if I look very exhausted. I showed you what I could. I didn't get to record too much because we had a house guest and I had a lot of frantic planning going on. So like I was painting and then I forgot how to do this and forgot how to do that. So I didn't get to record too much, which is fine. I feel like I show you guys enough of that. And I don't want this convention vlog to be, you know, 50 minutes long. So um, I am gonna show you uh, a print I did finish last minute. It was literally last night before I went to bed because uh, I have a painting of this particular character because the voice actor is gonna be there, which I'll show you that too. I'm gonna show you everything I finished before um, I head out. So I could, you know, just remember to show you. Cause sometimes I say, I'll show you. And then if we get to a con, I completely forget. So yeah, but Metro Con, Tampa, Florida. I, it's not, not too long of a drive for me, but I still have to pack the car. I still gotta shave and clean up cause I'm looking like a werewolf right now or something. Uh, um, but yeah, let me show you what I finished. Okay, so I would show you the four paintings that I finished. And I, yes, I said four. I actually finished four paintings before this show. And I started one of them, I think, technically it wasn't yesterday. It was like a day and a half ago. Um, I would show it to you, but I forgot I packed them already. They are already like packed them in the box. So I will show you at a con. I'm gonna put a reminder, so I do that. But this is the print I finished uh, last night. It's uh, Reno Ichikawa from Kaiju number eight. Uh, He's the Adam MacArthur, I think his name is. Oh, God, I'm really bad with people's names. He's gonna be at the con. So he also does Itadori from Jutsu Kaisen. So I finished this just in time. I really wanted to finish that and a couple other prints, but I always have too much I want to do and I don't I don't usually get them all done. Cause I just, I put too much work on myself, but it's fine. Got it done, very excited. And it's gotta start packing up and get ready to go. Um, yeah, we're gonna get there kind of early and try to do all set up today. Sometimes, most of the time I do set up in one day, minus a few things here or there, but I wanna really set up everything today, especially if we're gonna be there kind of early. 
Uh, that way tomorrow I can just get there and, you know, relax until the con starts. I do have to wait to see if, uh, I made a print order and to see if it's gonna arrive before uh, I leave. It was supposed to arrive yesterday, but then I got a little email saying that it was gonna arrive today, I guess. So we'll see if it arrives before I go. So one thing I will say is that I did spend a lot more time trying to condense all my con setup stuff. So word of advice to everyone, if you wanna start doing artist alley or conventions, always try to condense everything as much as possible. You know, within reason. I, it's not that I had everything kind of like not condensed. I had everything like all over the place, but I just had a lot of different supplies and things that like, I guess I didn't box well enough, but um, now it's all organized and I think it just works way better. So yeah, just always take a little bit extra time to try to condense everything so it's easy to pack up. And you know, when you get to a con, you can just unload really easy. And when you have to leave, you can pack up really easy. Just, you know, word of advice. I realized I got here and I didn't say we got here. So I'm next to Sen. Where's she at? There she is. Where's she? Right there. She was driving all night. She said she looks rough right now. I don't look any better. My hair is a mess. It's humid and nasty in Tampa, Florida. Um, okay, so here, I, I don't have anything set up yet, but I'm gonna get started. We're here, day one, guys. Going to start setting up and putting up the keychains. Ta da! I thought I'd show you guys the the um, keychains. I didn't take the film off all of them yet, but this is these are the keychains. This is where it's going to be located under the Rogers here. Unfortunately, you don't have a. Uh, hey, he's not zooming in. There we go. I don't have a keychain for this one yet. Because obviously I just made a sticker. But yeah, so these are, these are the eight. I'm excited about them. Very excited. It's day one, it's Friday here at MetroCon. This con's about to open in like 20 minutes or so. And then I realized I did not put the duckies up. So I gotta do that. And I don't think I showed you the paintings I finished. I don't remember if I did. So I'm gonna show you now. We have uh, Ichikawa from Kaiju Number no. 8. I'm very proud of this one. I love the line work. I'm very, very happy with what I got there. And there's Mahito, which was actually already claimed by someone on Patreon. I have my mob, because he's here too. I love my little boy, my little mob, he's my favorite. And then I have shirtless Toji, for all you uh, simps out there who thirst after this man. Yeah. Oh, and then my new canvas prints came in, so I have my solo leveling one. And then I have a Boji one, but I didn't put it up yet, so I'll show you that later. So here's number one. There's number two, which I think will be harder to find for everyone because it's like hidden in there. Then we have number three and then number four. Anyone finds all four, I'll give them a free sticker or something. Two fools, okay, who support me a lot and I appreciate it, decided, they told me that they've been forgetting to give me Christmas gifts. We're in Ju July, okay, so I'm gonna open these, okay? All right, so I know it was Christmas gifts, but I'm going to treat it as an anniversary gift, like five years at doing con, Metro Con. Then you writing on it? Okay, okay. okay. It's so cute, look at little chopper. Oh my God, he's going to be, I'm going to keep that cons with me all the time. You know what's funny? I'm going to put it here and people are going to think it's for sale. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I thought. Yeah, see, <laughs> okay, here's the other one. Oh, my husband, Shane's gonna be so jelly. <laughs> oh my God, I love it, it's like LED. Okay, so this is a picture of how it looks in the back, okay? Oh, it has him on it. I dig it. <laughs> Thank you. Shane's gonna be jelly. <laughs> yeah. Look what I bought. I had it for 10 minutes, guys, 10 minutes. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. It's not Five Nights at Freddy's, <laughs> that's Gluttner. <laughs> yeah, right? And then, I knew a guy would buy shirtless, sexy Toji. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm recording. Oops, my guy, hold on, do that again. 
I was wondering, I was like, do a couple things. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm checking in early uh, because I had a good, what, 20, 30 minutes when we opened for VIP. I made table already, so I feel pretty good about that. And uh, I do want to point out, you should always, as, coming from an artist standpoint or a vendor exhibitor, always cherish your uh, regulars. Um, granted, the two that just came, they were uh, they're friends of mine now. And I want to say everyone, you should always be very grateful for those who come back and always support you. Always show them love because, I mean, they're coming to support you. So, I don't know. I just am very grateful for them and for a lot of my other regulars and people who, when VIP started, I had a, quite a handful of a group of people that came to look for me immediately to make sure they got stuff because they know, I guess, Metrocon's a good show for me and I sell out really quickly. So, it was just nice. Um, very, very grateful. Especially then getting the gifts, like my little chopper, who is now going to be my little representative for the table with the law also so yeah just saying appreciate your regulars and patrons you can caress it if you want you know be like <laughs> all right guys i'm checking in so it is oh i can't check the time because i'm recording i'm gonna say it's like six o'clock we close at eight today and for a first day for friday it's really good it's how i know metrocon to be it's what i've expected and i'm very excited i'm happy I know some people are saying it's only an average Friday for them, but you know, I always say this, everyone's experience is different, everyone's sales are always different, everyone's business policies, business method, whatever is always different. For me, it's been phenomenal. I'm excited, I'm happy to be back. Five years, fifth anniversary um, for me. So yeah, I did sell out of Uma Mia from Windbreaker. I would show you the print, even though I feel like I showed it before, but um, I sold the display one, so I don't have any left of it. So I'm... Um, it's this print right here. So, um, yeah, that one's gone. So, Windbreaker's doing really good because everyone's telling me that they're going to everyone's tables, looking for Windbreaker, and nobody has Windbreaker. So, yeah. I just wanted to check in and tell you guys how it's been. So, I'll uh, tell you guys more later. Recording my food because Sin told me to record it. So, this is my food. Okay. This is hers. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I don't remember if I ever shared this at another vlog, like my bold Matsuri vlog uh, in Jacksonville. So, I think it was bold Matsuri. I had a friend that came up and gave me this positive potato. So I have it now. It's like a good luck charm, like, like all my other little things. Like now I have the chopper. That's a good part of me when I got here uh, yesterday. Part of that good luck charm. And then if you all remember the law that I have. So I'm adding on to the good luck charm, like quantity well, i never shared this with you guys but i have this little sign right here that uh, is like you know when people follow me they'll get one of these mini prints for free i used to have these a long time ago but i don't need them anymore and like i don't know i, I just don't want to sell them anymore so when people start following me on instagram or anything they'll get a free print when i run out of these i have another like stack of other characters too so i thought that'd be really cool um you know, because people are going to follow you anyway if they like your work at a con. So I thought I'd get, give them something as appreciation, I guess, like a gift. So I also forgot to share that I added my original stickers. So that my little bunnies and all that, my little Kodama on the bottom there, and my little dude over there that I shared that print before, but I'll show it again. But yeah, so some of my original stickers there. And um, I actually put my little Kodama dude, I put out a sticker and I put it on the trash can. So people know it's mine. Also, I have to go dump this trash out. Sometimes cons don't give you a trash can. So I do highly recommend always having a little one because if the con doesn't give you one and the trash can's like far away somewhere, which I don't know where it is. It's like, you know, you can't throw your crap away. So yeah, just a little word of advice, guys. Um, if you're gonna do Artist Alley or cons or whatever, get a little trash can.
I'm gonna creep up. Oh, she caught me, so I can't creep up, actually. You can't creep up with no one. Yes, I can. Look at how shiny you are. I'm not shiny, how dare you. Look at the aura. Mm. Huh? What's up? What's wrong? What are you doing? What's happening? What's happening? I'm getting attacked, guys. I'm getting attacked. <laughs> so I'm testing it, and my balloon is easy, is, you know, not easy to see, but you can see it from far away. It's a marker for, hey, this is where I'm at. I think it was worth it. Some people give me some shade about it, though. I'll be honest. But it's okay. I don't know if you remember this from my Greenville vlog. So she, but I had this painting. She bought it online. So I gave it to her. But she got it signed, okay, by K Kaji Tang, right? Yes. Yes. And then she has her, my Chuya one, too, signed by Nicholas Roy. It's going to go nice together. It looks nice. Look at that. Oh, my God. Your yeah, no, I I'm behind by two episodes. Um, I had two I had too many cons back to back, so I haven't got a chance to like watch the newer ones. But I keep trying to tell people to watch the show. Like they are they are very much sleeping on it. Yeah. So it'll be thirty dollars. Yeah. The card. There you, go. you can do a tap. I'm gonna put them all on one sleeve, okay? All right, thank you. You saw they announced season two, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm so I'm so excited. Yeah. It, it started off like really slow, but then I was like, wait, it's actually pretty good. Really? I didn't think it started off so slow. Well, I've never watched the Blueprint. I didn't watch Tokyo Avengers. So. Okay, I will say Tokyo Avengers is not the same. Yeah, I didn't watch it. Like so. I, I enjoy Tokyo Avengers, but they can be a little melodramatic. Yeah. And Windbreaker has that like more like casual feel, and they're more yeah. about. I feel like they're more about community. I love that. Yeah. Like, I, so. Yeah. That's what I meant by start out slow. Like, yeah. I felt like it was just like I wasn't. It's different. From what okay. I no, I got gotcha. you. But it was great. Oh. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a good one. All right. So Utah. Uh, yeah, it's actually the little the little QR code over there. If you scan it, I'll, I have free mini prints. I'll give you. Um, and like I actually thought like I'm like I'm gonna hate Fruits Basket, and then my friend begged me to watch it. And she begged me again. And then I recommended something to her. And she watched that. She said, well, you have to watch what I recommend. I was like, okay, fine. So I watched it. And I genuinely love it. See, I liked it because it's like, it's not like, I don't want to say basic slice of life, yeah. but it's not a basic slice of life. It's not, yeah, like, yeah. It's like it has all those intricate parts. And yeah. then on top of it, it has kind of a slice of life yeah. aspect to it. We're all tired, okay? And we have people sleeping back here. <laughs> All I want to do is sleep right now, too. <laughs> so I'm at Jen's table, and I'm going to sneak behind her and creep her out. She doesn't notice I'm here. <laughs> All right, you know I always show Jen stuff, okay? So here, she got a way bigger table now. Look at this. And then someone walks in front. Everybody okay? There's that. Here we go. Adopt a goosey boy. Wee! Okay, and this is adorable, by the way. So, it's check-in time. Even though it's um, like 20 minutes before we close today, uh, I was scared that today would not be as busy because Friday was so busy. But um, it was pretty busy, but it was like average busy. So I wasn't able to record as much as I'd like, but I do have updates. So I am sold out of my Umamiya print from uh, Windbreaker. Sold out of Hoshina from Kaiju Number 8. Actually, all my Windbreaker stuff is doing really well because I'm out of Sakura also. 
and uh, my minimal paint, my minimal prints, like the girls up there. Robin's pretty low from One Piece. Um, I'm pretty low for a car cop to Sakura, which is super surprising. And I've been meeting a lot of people who like want to talk about old school stuff, which honestly I'm not, I shouldn't be surprised because that's my normal in um, MetroCon here in Tampa Bay. Um, since it's like my home con, I guess. Uh, that's where I bonded with a lot of people here about, so I shouldn't be surprised. But I guess you kind of forget when you go to all these different shows in other places because every fandom is different. There's always different fandoms in different cities and stuff. You never know what people are into over there, so. Oh my God, hold on, friends came by. Say hi. I see them all the time, they're so nice. <laughs> all right, end of the day, we're packed up. Look at that, covered the best I could. I gotta deliver this to someone. Big painting. He bought this painting last year in Metro. And I was gonna mail it to him, but he didn't want me to mail it to him. And he didn't show up at any shows in a while. So I've had to hold it for a year. Not my favorite thing, but he is a loyal patron. So he's gonna be outside where I can bring it to him. Cause he couldn't come to the con, but he's gonna be outside in the entrance so I can hand this to him. So it's a little update of what I'm gonna be doing before the day is over. Yo, Sen is being shady as hell right now. That's me all the time. What do you, you hear that? She's shady all the time. Only towards you. You can't see my face, but I'm crying. That means I like you. Wait, say that. Oh. <laughs> okay, tell me about the coolest thing ever. He's running away. He's like, don't. All right, it's day three. Last day for MetroCon wheeling in my wagon because um, I'm going to not use the loading dock today. I don't feel like waiting two hours in a line to get through the loading dock. Granted, their procedure is not, you know, it's not um, bad or anything. I just, it's actually a pretty good procedure. It's just that, you know, the loading dock is not huge, so we all kind of have to wait. I don't feel like waiting, so I'm going to wagon, wheel my stuff out. And I have to go around the building today. I don't know why. Yesterday and the day before, I was actually able to go through the front as a vendor, but um, I don't know they told me I had to go around the building today, so I don't know why the rule changed, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, no, I don't mind because the weather's actually really nice right now this morning. And if you can't tell, I already lost my voice. I'm like losing my voice already. It's been pretty active this weekend. I've been talking a lot and I am tired, but I feel like this walk is waking me up. Um, I don't know if that's weird to say. I don't know if that's like making that up. Like, oh, I can't actually wake you up. But no, legitimately, this walk is waking me up right now. I was kind of in autopilot mode until I got here. So now I'm walking around the building. So um, sometimes con, sometimes convention centers change their rules like midway. I don't know. But um, yeah, so day three, things gonna be great. So far, it's been great. Um, got here really early though, so I'm gonna go rest at the table uh, and restock my prints because. My Shane, my husband, brought my print order for me at the con because it did not arrive on time. Going through the gates to another dimension. I feel like I'm like the only one here. I got here really early because I needed to get to that parking because there's two floors and the top one has a ramp. The bottom floor does not. So yeah, I feel like I'm like the only one in here. I know they're not here, but this is my friend's booth, uh, Napa and Pendragon, Leanne and Trace. They've been doing so much, like, branding. I, I gotta say, like, I am always, like, inspired by their branding. So, there, it's for the summer, so it's, like, fishing. So, I think it looks so awesome. I gotta tell them later how much I love it. I didn't get to show their booth yesterday, but I got this shirt from my friends who uh, make, they, uh, make a bunch of tees and stuff like that in apparel, so that's them. So I'm gonna be wearing this today because the shirt I'm wearing is, I don't know, itchy and it's just usually my like, um, I don't know, load out, load in shirt and I don't wanna wear that today. So I'm gonna be changing into this. I will try to share their booth later. Unveiling Jess's booth, guys. <laughs> Didn't know where my bag was once.
so the table's my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> I say we're go. Yeah. For all you Hasbin fans, this is my friend Jess's table, which I've shown already. Look at this life-size Alistair. <laughs> but yeah, this is her table, guys. This is Jess. I love this man. <laughs> <laughs> it was great, though. He's so it? silly. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. Can I see what your tattoo is right here? It is so detailed. Oh my God, I'm in love. Like, I love this. See, I knew it when I saw the bottom. I was like, that's Mononoke, isn't it? It's gotta be. And oh, it looks amazing. I got it at the beginning of the year. They did a really good job. I love how the detail of the back. The stippling and everything, I mean, it just, I, you can't leave yet. Hold on, I gotta keep looking at this. Like this, is, it's so nice. Like I. Uh... It's check-in time. It is after 4:30. We close at five, and it's been a good Sunday. I can't complain. It's been a good con so far, and I did pick something up for my husband Shane because his birthday is in a couple of weeks. So I got him this. Catamon keychain from uh, artists that's like right behind me. We traded for it actually, but he loves Patamon, he loves Andromon, he loves the whole evolution line. So I thought I'd get it for him for his birthday. It's just a little treat, it's not like his major gift. Come on, guys, I'm not just gonna give him a keychain. But yeah, I thought that I'd show you guys that. But um, it's been a good day. I sold out of a lot of things Assassination Classroom, sold out of uh, Aladdin from Magi, sold out of everything Kaiju number eight. Uh, everything Windbreaker, and I'm forgetting other things. Oh, Nanami from Jesus Kaisen, uh, other stuff, I can't remember, but sold out of a lot. So it's been a good show. It's, I don't think it's been better than last year's Metro. I think it's still a little short, uh, which I don't know, it's because we have, I think maybe we have more artists here. I, I don't know for sure, but it's still a great show though. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be packing up soon and all that. So oh, yeah, check in. Now I'm checking out. The keychains were a success, and the, some of the one that sold the most was Gojo and Nami. Those are the two highest selling keychains, guys. So I was scared to take I was scared to take this risk and get keychains made, but you know what? It was successful. Sometimes fight the fear. So yeah, no, we're gonna be packing up soon. End of the day. You know, I know I, never, I realize I never showed you guys this new sticker from my scientific real gun print, which is right there. It's about a month since MetroCon. I am being really, really irresponsible with recording these outros. I'm recording them super late, but I guess it gave me time to reflect on the convention and like how it went. But honestly, I don't think I really needed that time because I already knew how I felt about the show and I was kind of saying it in the vlog. Metrocon was a success for me. I had a great time. Um, I'm happy to be back, to have gone back. I had, I don't know, I had a wonderful time. You know, there were, I'm trying to think of like some hiccups that would that came up, but for some reason I can't think of any. And I watched all the clips as I was editing and I can't remember if there was any. So I said it in the video, um, hope you remember them because I, I, I don't. You know, I didn't love some of the journeying process. I feel like there was a little bit of a hiccup with some of them. Um, I'm a little sad that a lot of my regular friends didn't get to uh, table this year. Um, but I don't know. I am happy with I'm happy with how it turned out. I got to see a lot of my favorite um, people that I started conventions with. You know, like regulars that have turned into friends and people who just kind of always been loyal and supportive. I tried to record as much as I could when they came around. And if I didn't, I did um, take some pictures and I did I put them on here. Um, I will say selling as many paintings as I did during VIP time was really awesome. Was it kind of like added this like spark and it gave me this energy that, you know, you, you don't always get. It's not, a, it's not a guaranteed thing at every con you go to. So that was really, really exciting for me. I, I was very happy with that. I know I said before that I wanted to chill out with um, 
you know, painting a bit because then I'm moving like they used to. But I, uh, Metrocon is usually one of those exceptions where I always do it, I always do pretty well when it comes to selling paintings. So I'm happy with the amount I had. Of course, I wanted to have more, but there's not enough time in the day, not enough time in the week to do all the ones I want to do. So I am learning I need to take a step back and, you know, relax a bit, um, try to give myself some time for a break, which I'm not really good with. And I feel like I stated it before. I am working on it. I think I'm way better about it. But um, yeah, no, this is one of the shows that I do have to normally prepare for. So I prepare pretty hard for. So I, I think it's one of those to always know your boundaries and know what show is really worth devo divulging all your time into. And this is one of them for me. One of the highlights for me was getting to meet Adam MacArthur. He came by the table and we got to talk for a little bit. And um, it was kind of cool that I kind of, I was able to kind of connect with him through my other friends who have met him before when I never get to meet him because every time I'm at a show that he's at, I'm unable to walk away like this like this con. I was soloing, so I couldn't actually go over there and meet him, but he actually came by and uh, we talked for, for a while and I enjoyed that very much. Um, I think I put a picture of us together in the, in the vlog. Um, I can't recall. I think I did. Yeah, I don't know what else there is to say about the con. I feel like I covered all my bases and I feel like I said how I felt during the con and while things were happening, which usually I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm bad at maybe, but, and I kind of sum it up at the end. But at this time I kind of said how I was feeling when it was all happening. So I feel like I've expressed how the con was for me and how I felt about it. So I'm going to cut the vlog here. Uh, I appreciate you all for watching um, and, and all those who did come to Metro, uh, I really su appreciate the support and I know um, the con does too, obviously. So I don't know where to go from here. I think this will be the end of the vlog. Uh, the next vlog that will be coming out is Supercon in Miami. That is the con that I went to after Metro. Uh, I went back to Miami Beach, just like how, uh, just where Otaku Fest was. So returning there and yeah. So I don't know what to say, but um, thank you all for watching. I hope you continue to do so. Uh, heavily, heavily, heavily grateful for all of you. Um, but yeah, see you next time.